Okay, so um, when it comes to trimming, trimming is taking care of the bottom of the piece um, enough to make it so that you can have a nice, uh, nice bottom to it, especially if it's meant for something that's going to have something warm in it. Um, if it does, you want to have as little connection with the tabletop as possible. Um, so what you do is you make so that it's just a little foot that's on the bottom of it. Um, now I've been talking about feet as far as the side goes. This is a trimmed foot on the bottom of it. Um, what you can do is get it as close as possible on the wheel first. You can kind of see whether or not it's pretty even. Um, before you do much of anything, find out if you really are. You can use the needle tool, your fingernail, pencil, whatever you want to use to double check and see. Um, so I'm just going to kind of hold still and see how close it is. Where it's cut marks, you just push straight across from. Um, you just move to a different height and close there. The bottom and the top aren't always actually centered from each other. Okay, that's going to be pretty close. It's nearly touching all the way around when it's doing that. Um, get to true center on there first. Um, pull off a few pieces of wet clay and what you want to do is make sure that you push down the two sides at a time at the same time. If you push down one side, it's going to push it the other way. Um, so I'm going to take all four, put it so that I can actually reach them all. Push down all at the same time. This gives a connection and makes it kind of stick in place. Um, if you're just doing a small trim, you can just do, uh, I, I even hold it just sometimes on the top. Be aware of how thick your bottom is though. I knew the bottom was relatively thick on this, so I know I can definitely cut a foot into it. If it's super thin, um, when you pick it up and you can kind of tell by tapping at it, um, don't hit it because you could accidentally hit through it, but just tap a little bit. If it sounds relatively solid, um, then you're okay. Uh, if it's super thin, just take care of the sides. Don't worry about anything else. And when you sign your name, I'm thinking of it too, make sure you sign along the edges. You're always going to be a little thicker on the edges than you are in the center. If you sign across the center, I've had so many people start signing and it pokes right through. So sign always along the corners. Um, then once you have it centered, then what you do, make sure you're on your leg, make sure your hand on the top, kind of bridging as much connection with this in your hand as you possibly can. And you kind of brace so that you can cut and little ribbons should come off of it. If it's beyond leather hard, um, you're not gonna end up with the ribbons, you're gonna end up with a lot of trouble cutting into it. If it's too soft, you're not gonna get the ribbons coming off. So it's kind of a, a kind of a specific spot that you need the clay to be at. And I'm just gonna kinda even up the bottom here a little bit. going to even up the sides, get that edge so it's not sharp, and to cut an actual uh, foot into it, you're going to, on the top, cut a ring, and I usually cut um, near the center too, just so that I keep the center where it is so I know how deep I'm going. If I just keep cutting across, I don't know if I've gone down a half inch or whatever. So I'm going to kind of level out between those two right now. You can cut this as deep as you want, just be aware that to make sure you don't go through it. You get the idea. I'm going to work on this just a little bit longer mm -hmm. and get it a lot more even. Um, you might have to recenter just a little <coughs> bit again. There's a little bit more on one edge than another. So I'm going to slide it over just a little bit and finish it up. But 